Let's dilute and make one of the most commonly used buffers in techniques uh, used for DNA manipulation. This is PE buffer or TRIS EDTA. TRIS EDTA obviously has two components, TRIS and EDTA. To make this solution, you normally don't start by making TRIS solution from TRIS powder because usually a concentrated stock of TRIS and EDTA are, are always prepared and kept in laboratories. Why is that so? Because TRIS is used as a component for many reagents commonly used in molecular biology and biochemistry. For example, as part of TAE buffer for gel electrophoresis, as part of buffer used in western blotting, and as part of buffers used to prepare membrane fractions. Thus usually labs prepare and stock up large amount of TRIS solution, usually one molar concentration and that is what we are going to use and simply dilute it to make TE solution. TE is normally used at TRIS 10 millimolar and EDTA 1 millimolar concentrations. Let's say your lab has stocks of 1 molar TRIS and 0.5 molar EDTA. Can you use these stocks to make 100 ml of TE buffer? So let's start by making TRIS solution. Let's dilute 1 molar TRIS solution to make 10 millimolar TRIS. So we will use the formula C1V1 is equal to C2V2 where C1 is the concentration of stock TRIS which is 1 molar. Volume V1 is the volume of stock TRIS that is the amount of 1 molar TRIS that you are going to take and dilute to make 10 millimolar TRIS. C2 is concentration of working TRIS which is 10 millimolar and V2 is volume of working TRIS which is 100 ml. So if you use the formula C1 V1 is equal to C2 V2 we will have 1 molar or 1000 millimolar into V1 is equal to 10 millimolar into 100 ml. So we will take 1000 millimolar on the other side of the equation which will give us V1 is equal to 10 millimolar into 100 ml divided by 1000 millimolar. We will cancel all the zeros in the numerator and denominator which will give us 1 ml. That means we need to just pipe it out 1 ml of 1 molar tris and dilute it uh, by adding water and making up the volume to 100 ml. This will result in a solution which contains 10 millimolar TRIS. However, we still need to add EDTA to make TE solution. So let's see how to dilute EDTA. Normally you can easily buy EDTA at 0.5 molar concentration. So you can take this as your stock. I um, mean use the formula C1V1 is equal to C2V2 where C1 is the concentration of stock EDTA which is 0.5 molar. V1 is the volume of EDTA that is amount of 0.5 molar EDTA that you would pipe it out from the stock and dilute to make final concentration. C2 is the concentration of working solution of EDTA which is 1 millimolar and V2 is the volume of working EDTA that is 100 ml. So 0.5 molar into V1 is equal to 1 millimolar into 100 ml. Since 1 molar is equal to 1000 millimolar, let's convert 0.5 molar in millimolar which will give us 500 millimolar. So 500 millimolar into V1 is equal to 1 millimolar into 100 ml. 
taking 500 millimolar on the other side of the equation we get v1 is equal to 1 millimolar into 100 ml divided by 500 millimolar cancelling zeros in numerator and denominator we get 0.2 ml and we can convert 0.2 ml to microliters by simply multiplying it by 1000 which gives us 200 microliters so basically if you pipe it out 200 microliters of EDTA 0.5 molar EDTA and add water to it to make up the volume to 100 ml you will prepare a solution uh, that has 1 millimolar concentration of EDTA so to make TE buffer all you do is you add stock tris 1 ml so basically 1 molar stock tris you take 1 ml from that bottle add it into a beaker and then from stock EDTA which was 0.5 molar take 200 microliters or 0.2 ml again add it to the beaker and then make up the volume to 100 ml by adding 98.98 ml water and that's how you simply dilute and make TE solution.